is coming over eventually started draining I panicked I had to put my drone down so quick we've got three more to go three more stops three more stops as long as the rain stops even if it's a cloudy day I'll be happy so. yeah but it's a bit risky to take the drone up you know yeah. like the rain can come at any time you wouldn't know when the rain is is gonna pour Leo has this new habit whenever he sees another child he goes baby and he just wants to hug him <laughs> We were at the Italian restaurant the other night and there was this little girl and he just kept going for hugs. A bee, a bee, a bee. And the good thing is that she can actually see him when he's walking on the beach. So apparently I tried to get a, sh a drone shot since it's sunny now, but there is a, a sign saying no drones and I didn't see it. Now that the sun As, came out, yeah. that you can actually do it, there's a sign that stays here. There's a huge sign and what happened is I went to set up just beside the sign and I didn't even realize, realize that the sign was there. So yeah, they, they stopped me immediately. This was a really beautiful island, but the downside of it is that you only get to stay 20 minutes. So that's our boat and we're heading to the next island, the last final island. We're gonna have a bite to eat there and head home. Still getting used to the shrimp trainer. It's the first time he's using 
it. I think he's more scared of the water because this looks pretty comfortable. There's a harness that keeps the baby in place and their chin rests on top of the rubber. That's how you know that the positioning is right. That's what they say. Sun's out, guns out. So, Island, Koda, Koda, Koda P. Get the nice scene, scenery. Fell in a ditch. We're there. Look, the log looks nice. like. like an this is what disappointed me today. As you can see at the back, no drones. And it's killing me because I got my drone with me. You know, went into the stress to get all this heavy baggage. What can you do, you know? Law is law. I'm not gonna risk it. Just in the van waiting for the people to come so they can drop us back at our hotel to come off the boat. The waves were as high as like our waistline, so everyone got soaked again. Except for Leo because I held him over my head. <laughs> and it's good because it turned out to be a nice day at the end. Finally we made it back to the hotel. The driver didn't know where he's going. He got lost about three times. And if I had to rate the tour of today, it would be 10 points. It's just the hotel transfer to and from was a disaster. True? It was a disaster, the, the, the going transport. Was no, go, going to the location was all right. Was, it wasn't bad, but coming but back, coming Back, like whole... my nose is literally on fire, you know, with the fumes, the smell yeah. of the fumes. My the gosh. Yeah, the whole box was moving from left to right. So it's our last day here in Krabi. We're going to Phuket tomorrow and we're going by van. There was an alternative to go by boat, but we decided to be safer and go by van just in case it will be rainy. rainy since now it's raining at least once a day. And I know I did mention that we were going to skip Phuket and that was the original plan but because our visa got approved and we will be returning to Australia sooner than we expected and um, I was checking for flight options like to go to Australia and uh, one of the best options I found was departing from Phuket International Airport so that's the one we will be taking home and that's the reason why we are going to Phuket after all. We're going to be spending about five days there. Yeah, five days in Phuket and then, and then we can make our way home. to Australia. We can call it home now. Guys, as always, like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.